If you are watching us on Facebook and you are watching right now, you're very likely watching the replay. If you don't see that little red live button up in the corner, that means you're watching it on replay. If you are, please put hashtag replay in the comments to let me know that's when you're watching it so I can tell you hello. Hel I hope that you are all having a wonderful Thursday. It's hard to believe it's already Thursday. It's been a weird week here in Mississippi. I don't know about other places, but in Mississippi, everything's been shut down, and so it's been so strange. We had some ice and cold, cold weather, and so it's been really strange. Um, over on YouTube, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry I was not here on Thursday. I, I mean, Tuesday. Again, it, everything was shut down. It's been so strange. So I apologize that I was not live here on Tuesday, but we are here today. So please tell me hello. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, so today we are going to do an arrangement out of a fun little book, A Sweet Lady from the public library came by. She um, she is friends, part of friends of the public library here in town. And so a lot of times they will have books that they'll pull off their shelves and they'll just give them away. Well, this is called um, Scented Souvenirs and it's called Victorian Nosegays. It's illustrations by Gil Tomlin and Pamela Westland wrote the book. And so they're actually little hand-drawn nosegays. They're really kind of, it's really pretty. It's a fun little book, but she discusses different shapes of nosegays, different reasons why you would give nosegays, or posies, they call them. Um, and so today we are going to make a posy out of this book. And so I wanted to read it to you. It's called Long Lasting Presentation Posy is the posy that we're going to put together today. I don't have the exact flowers, but I have pretty close. So I thought we would make it as close as possible. It says choose the toughest and most long lasting flowers when you're making up a posy to present to a visitor or perhaps a guest speaker. Use two-tone Doris pinks. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a type of daisy. Use white spray carnations and pink and white daisy chrysanthemums are practical and very pretty too. It says arrange alternate rings of pink and pinks and carnations surrounding them with the daisy shaped flowers and then with gypsophilia. I didn't have baby's breath. Gypsophilia is baby's breath, so I have solid ego. Um, and it says, add a protective collar of glossy magnolia leaves, and then bind the stems with wire, and for a comfortable grip, add some ribbon. Present the pro posy with pride. So I thought that we would make this fun little Posy using long-lasting flowers. Now, I don't have the pinks, and I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'll have to look that up. Doris Pinks. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, we are going to make this arrangement using, I thought the peach hop berries were pretty. It's not in this picture, but I thought they were pretty, and they would match our peach-colored um, carnations. So we got these beautiful peachy colored carnations in. And so I thought we would use those. And then for our Daisy Mom, we have actually a Cushion Mom, a white Cushion Mom. And then in place of the Gypsophilia or Baby's Breath, we're going to use some Solid Ego. And then we did have Magnolia Leaves, so I thought I would show you how I wired and taped Magnolia Leaves. Victoria is here with me, so if you guys have any questions, ask me some questions, and Victoria will um, Victoria will read them, and I'll try to answer. Um, so we're going to start out with our carnations. Um, so I'm going to take my carnation, and I'm putting it between my thumb, my thumb and my forefinger, and I'm just going to brush those petals open. So a lot of times our carnations come in pretty tight. You'll see, like, see how tight that one is? They come in tight because they've just freshly been cut, right? And so I'm going to take them, hold them in my hand, and I'm just going to brush those petals and open them right up. And I'm going to do that with all of our carnations. And 
And so this is just opening up these blooms. Now, let me say this. Please, please do not brush other flowers like you're brushing a carnation. Um, it'll bruise their petals. So be careful when um, doing this. Only do this to a carnation. Because if you touch other flowers' petals like this, you're very likely going to bruise them. And you don't want to be rough with them. But this just kind of opens, opens those blooms right on up. But don't do it with the other flowers. <laughs> oh, everyone is saying hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. So glad y'all are here. Um, Pretty Petals says those colors together are just stunning. I love them. You do incredible work. Oh, thank you. Thank you, friend. All right, so there's our pretty carnations. So we are going to make a round posy. So what it shows in my picture, so I'll try to show you the picture again. So it's kind of, it's almost in, um, it has layers of color. It's almost in like a, a pomodoro look. So you'll take the carnations and we're gonna do probably three in the center. Okay, I'm just holding them in my hand just like that. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of solidago. And I'm just stripping that foliage off that stem. So I'm just taking that stem and stripping that foliage right off and tossing it. Um, Sweetbriar asks, what's the book you got there? It is, hey, Mr. Mister, it is called Victorian Nosegays. And it's actually a sweet little lady brought it to us um, she had, I think she found it in the free things at the library. Anyway, she brought it to us and I thought this would be fun. This might be something interesting to do. And so this one was called Long Lasting Presentation Posy. Um, and so she said, use the longest lasting flowers that you have or that you can get your hands on to make this posy. So that's, and it, it asks for carnations and for daisies. So I thought, let's do it. So I've got my peach carnations kind of in the center. I ringed it with a little bit of solid ego. Now I'm gonna come around with my cushion moms. So I'm gonna take those moms and I'm stripping off that foliage and I'm just going all the way around. Uh, Miss Carolyn Frazier says, what a great tip, thank you from down under. Of course, of course. Uh, Don Miller says, I really liked the fun fact today. Wasn't that fun? I found that. I shared that from another flower shop that follows us. And I thought, oh, that's such a neat, uh, a neat thing. I had never seen that before. You know what? I didn't get quite enough solid ego, I don't think. Let's come in with our berries next. So I went, I put my peach carnations, my solid ego, my um, mums. Let's come in with some berries. So you can see I'm just layering layering the flowers and I'm just doing different types throughout my little layers mm -hmm. so I'm going to take my berries and I'm just holding them in my hand and I'm coming all the way around I'm just stripping that foliage off just like I did everything else and I'm just laying them all the way around in my hand um everyone is saying hello to Osa <laughs> he's up here bathing for heaven's sakes Nobody needs to see all that, Mr. Mister. <laughs> all that bathing up here. Uh, Miss Marianne asks if our ice has started to melt. It has, Miss Marianne. Finally, this afternoon, it decided to melt. So our actually, we had one driveway that was clear, but the opposite driveway was not. And so thankfully, it has melted off. So you can see I'm just going all the way around. Now you can make this bouquet as large or as small as you would like. You do not have to use nearly as many blooms as I'm using here. So there's our berries all the way around. And next we're gonna come in with our carnations again. Um, Arona Voss says, I can tell this is going to be very pretty. Isn't this fun? It's just something a little different. Um, Sweetbriar says that's the color of the year. The Isn't peach. it? This, yes, this peach is beautiful. It makes me happy. I think I'm going to go get another handful of carnations and a little more solid ego. So give me two seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Sweetbriar says, I ordered some Valentine flowers today. All vases on my shelves. Us, we're, we're, we're also preparing for Valentine's, trying to get everything together. I think it's probably a blessing that January is so slow sometimes because you can actually have time to prepare for such a big holiday. A drop of coronation. Hello, Miss Deidre Baird. She says she's finally catching a live welcome. Okay, I'm back. I was dropping carnations all the way back. Okay, so I'm just gonna take and tuck my carnation side by side. And again, you do, oh, I broke that one's head. Let's set that down. <laughs> set that down and fluff your carnations. Rhea says, Osa looks like he wants to say something. Oh, he's something, all right. Are you something? He was, um, I was trying to do a YouTube video, and he kept getting on the table, and I'm like, get down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joey Hudgens says, so cute and different. Not a big fan of carnations, but you have made those look so cute. Aren't they pretty? They really are so pretty and so long lasting. They really do last a long time. So these, all these flowers that we're working with today, all of them came from a company called Budsy. And so they're such fresh flowers. I mean, you see how tight those blooms are. So fresh and they last for so long, like so long. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to pick up my arrangement that I laid down. And what I'm doing is I'm just coming all the way around this little posy. I'm just going all the way around, nestling those carnations side by side. Um, Miss Sandra Moore says, You are amazing, Moni. So professional and talented. I pray your business will continue to grow and thrive. God Thank bless. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Kimberly McKinney says, Chloe says, Hello, Miss Monty. Hello, Chloe. Hello, sweet girl. Um, all Norma right. So there's our carnations all the way around. Next, we're going to come with a little more solid ego. So we're just going to take our solid ego and we're going to go again, just all the way around. Okay. So I'm just laying it all the way around. And you can see it's not very hard. You're just taking it and, and bringing that arrangement with that solid ego. And I'm just stripping some of that foliage off. Now this can be presented. You can cut this off and put it in a vase. Or you can present it as just a little nosegay. And they can drop it in a vase when they get it home. Now you can use any kinds of flowers. It does not have to be what I, I'm using here. I just wanted to get it as close to what the book said as possible. Okay, so here is our finished nose egg with the flowers. And I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to take this all together so I can lay it down. If you need to adjust any of the flowers in your hand, do that right now before you take. I'm just taking some of my carnations that are a little low, so I was just kind of adjusting those. But very, very simple, little hand tied bouquet, okay? So next what I'm going to do is I have some tape. So this is just a waterproof tape. So I'm going to take it. Okay, do we have to bathe in front of everybody? Huh? Um, your mama says hello. Hey, mama. How are you? Um, Joanne Hines asks, what was the fun fact for those of us that weren't on earlier? It was about tulip bulbs. And in the 1700s, 
tulip bulbs were worth more than gold. It said that one bulb was equivalent to $2,000 in today's money back then. Can you imagine a tulip bulb? Okay, so was I took and just wrapped those stems with just some tape. So I taped it together so it's just a little nosegay bouquet. And so now is when you can take your snips and go ahead and trim those stems. We got in some new little snips. Victoria is so excited. I don't use snips very often, but when you're making a bouquet like this, it's really nice. Okay, so I trimmed my stems, and you can pull off any of the foliage. So let me show you the trick with magnolia. So this arrangement said to, um, to ring this posy with magnolia leaves. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. Move um, these flowers. On YouTube, Donna Hazlitt says, I just saw you were on and started late. I grow pinks, it's just another name for dianthus incarnations. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so here's our magnolia. Um, and our magnolia leaves, let me show you what we did. So we wired them. We put them on each on an individual wire. And it was going to take a little while, so I didn't, I wired most of them, but I'm going to show you how to wire a large leaf. Now, this magnolia, it is a little beat up. So if you see that it has bruises and bumps and spots, that's because it's been in the cooler over Christmas. So we just happened to find some in the cooler and we decided to use it. But now let me show you really quickly how to wire a large leaf. And it doesn't have to be magnolia. It can be any leaf, um, large leaf. So I'm going to take a full length um, piece of flor florist wire. This is 21 gauge. That's the gauge that I like the best. Um, you can use any gauge. I find 21 is just right. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. For me, 21 is just right. I use 21 gauge for 98% of everything that we do. With wire, we use 21 gauge. If I need a corsage um, or a boutonniere, I use a smaller gauge, which is think is it a 26 gauge it's just a lighter weight so what I'm gonna do is there's a vein that runs down this leaf it's a pretty rigid vein I'm going to take this wire and I am going to pierce the leaf and it's kind of like a stitch like I just put a stitch in in material um, I just went on both sides through that leaf on both sides of that vein so it is holding that wire and then I'm gonna bend it down toward the stem just like that okay I bent the wire you can kind of I don't know if you can see it very well but I bent the wire I'm gonna take a piece of it and I'm gonna wrap it right around the stem of that leaf so it's it's just on the wire it's wired a long stem now I'm going to take a piece of um, corsage tape and I'm going to wrap the wire and the stem all the way down um, Gloria Tucker wants to know if Alstromerias would work well in yes in this. yes very long lasting they would work great um, and several people want to know what you're making this for. This, I just want, I just thought it would be fun to try to make some of the Victorian nosegays out of this book. And so these are the closest flowers that I had to any of the flower arrangements in here. Um, and this one's called the Long Lasting Presentation Posy. And it's made out of daisies and carnations. And they used magnolia leaves. And so... I just thought it would be fun to try to make some of the Victorian posies out of this little book. Um, Miss Rhonda, want, um, she asks, what gauge wire is that? 21 gauge is the gauge that I like the best. And so I'm going to wire several of these leaves really quickly. And then we're going to go all the way around this bouquet with these leaves. We're going to ring it with the leaves, the magnolia leaves. So again, I'm just piercing through that leaf. 
and I am going on both sides of the middle vein that's there. Um, Lori Osborne says, I love watching you and have learned so much from your videos. Oh, Lori, I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, and Miss Rhonda says, thank you. Of course. Of course. I'm so glad to answer questions. And really, this is for fun, guys. It's just more for fun. I just thought it would be kind of neat. Um, when we got this book, she was so kind to bring it to us. And when we got this book, I said, Victoria, we have to try some of these. And so today, I was trying to brainstorm. We don't have anything that needs to be made for tomorrow. We've already made most of our, our arrangements that go out for tomorrow. Um, and there are things, what we do have to make are things that we've done before. And so I said, what about the um, Victorian nosegays? And so I was kind of sitting and, and looking through it and I thought this would be fun. So that's the reason we chose this. So this tape that I'm using is actually a paper tape. And we use this for corsages and boutonnieres if we're wiring and taping flowers um, for flowers to wear most often. We use a paper tape that has been infused with a little bit of wax. And so it coats that stem and just makes it, it holds everything together basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold my little nosegay and I'm gonna take these leaves and I am just going to go all the way around. Now with me wiring that, that leaf, my words wouldn't come, I'm able to kind of adjust them just a little bit because they have a little bit of wire. So I'm gonna come all the way around this nosegay with these magnolia leaves. Now you wanna be a little careful because if you pull too much on that leaf, you're going to tear the leaf where the wire is. So be sure when you go to bend it, you're actually bending the wire. So you can see I'm just going all the way around with those leaves. Um, Gloria Tucker says, thank you for showing how to wire magnolia leaves. I have a huge magnolia tree in the back of my house. And you can do this with any type of leaf. So if you have a Galax leaf, or if you have any kind of leaves that have really short stems that are hard for you to design with, you can wire any leaves just like this. So it's not, you don't have to just use the magnolia. You can use any type of leaf, large leaf, especially if they have shorter stems. Um, Miss Valerie McDonald says, Hi, Monty. It's 18 degrees here Ooh. in New York today. Expecting snow, a snowstorm tomorrow, 1 to 3 inches. Oh, goodness. Please stay safe and warm. <laughs> That's been the hardest part in Mississippi, the staying warm. Um, Miss Carol says, You're such a good teacher. Great demos to make it easier to learn. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Um, Roxanne Coleman says, finally, I caught y'all live. Yay, Roxanne, I'm glad you're here. So you can see I'm just going all the way around with those magnolia leaves. And now if I had used just the big stem, it would have been real clunky. It would have been just too much. And so with me wiring all those little magnolia leaves, it's made it more delicate, much more delicate to use. Um, Donna Lee Parks says on YouTube says wonder what the leaves would look like alternating the different sides slash colors it would be pretty I think it would be really pretty let's try using the dark side you have a lot of questions okay um, ask girl oh well this is a comment Linda Miss Linda Sue says I think the book might be in Osa's way it's taking his spot oh, I apologize Hello, well. let me move that out of his face <laughs> <laughs> Um, Don Miller asks, when it gets cold, do you need to handle the, the deliveries differently, and does the cold hurt the arrangements? Um, Miss Dawn, it, that was Miss Dawn, you mm -hmm. said? Miss Dawn, in Mississippi, we don't often get below zero. So we don't normally have freezing temperatures all day during the day. The most of the time, if it drips, if it drops below zero, it's always going to be in the evening. Very, very seldom do we have frigid, frigid cold weather. Now, weeks like this week, we didn't do a whole lot of deliveries. So we usually do not have to wrap flowers and all those types of things like a lot of the northern states do. We usually can just deliver. 
Now you have to be the most careful with green plants because a green plant, um, its leaves are more delicate. So you have to be really careful. So I did alternate the um, backside of the leaves and I like that brown. I think that makes it look pretty winter. Allison does too. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Um. Let me find our other but so we've never in Mississippi we never wrap flowers mr. mister you're not helping me mm -hmm. uh, miss Margaret wants to know how your mother's doing mama's doing wonderful miss Margaret thank you for asking she's doing wonderful now let me say this say a little prayer for Robbie <laughs> and I shouldn't laugh that's it's not funny at all Robbie decided that she and her children would go sledding on the ice and Robbie fail and she has broken her wrist. So she is in a cast on her right hand and she's right-handed. So y'all say a little prayer that she gets well so that she can do Valentine's Day. <laughs> but she's doing good. I mean, she's just, bless her heart. Okay, so I think that's enough leaves. So I did kind of alternate the colors. We did the brown and we did the green. Guys, give us just a second over on YouTube. We're coming back up, I'm sorry. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to tape our arrangement again. But bless Robbie's heart, she called yesterday morning and she said, Well, do we have to work today? And I'm like, what do you mean do we have to work today? Yes, we're working today. And she said, well, I'm not going to make it in this morning. And I said, what are you talking about? And she said, I think I broke my wrist. And so she went to the doctor and they put her in a cast. So just say a prayer that she has a speedy recovery and she gets some sleep. Bless her heart. Miss Peggy Livingston asks, did you put the wire in the leaf or in the center in the stem? I'm going to um, bring it around and I'll show you again. Okay, so I just taped it. See how it's kind of, it's got the magnolia ringed all the way around on the base and then you can see it on the top. Um, let me show you, is she on Facebook? I'm going to show you really quickly. Are you sitting on my wire? Do I have a new wire up underneath you? Say no, Mom. Let's see if I've got another piece of wire and I can show you really quickly exactly how I wired it. This wire is too thick. Give me a second. Um, Miss... Sorry guys, I'm trying to get to everyone's questions. Welcome to all, everyone who's new. I'm gonna step forward just a little bit and get a little closer to you. Okay, so there is the, the ridge of the leaf. Can you see me there too? Mm -hmm. There's the ridge, you see that center ridge right there. You can see it real good there. I'm gonna take this wire and I'm per piercing the leaf and I'm going right up underneath that that ridge there or that vein I don't know if you can see it I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to bend it down so see how it's bent it's kind of hard to see but I'll bend it down there I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to wrap it right around that stem and now it's got a got a a stem on it just like that. I'm going to take the tape, if I can get it out from under the cat. I'm sorry buddy, that was an accident. He's like, no it wasn't. I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to pinch it just kind of around and then with my right hand I'm pulling it down, with my left hand I'm twisting. Now this takes practice. It's just going to be practice. So sit down with some wire and some tape and just practice. But there is our wired leaf. I hope that helped. Um, Valerie McDonald wants to know if you can dry the magnolia leaves and do they change color when dried? They do change color. <laughs> I keep leaving you, but let me go grab a wreath that we did back in July. And it'll, I'll show you how it changes. Um, hello, Anka. Miss Bernice, um, hello. I, let's see, the name of the book. 
So here is a wreath that we made back in July. And it is a bit, um, it's a bit sad, but we did this wreath in July and it's crunchy and it does change color, but I think it would be beautiful if you painted it or you can leave it natural. But it is crunchy and it kind of falls apart, but it's real crunchy. Um. Miss Bernice Drool wants to know the name of the book. She says it would be nice to see it in text. Okay, I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture of it and post it um, so that you can see it. And I'll take a picture with our nosegay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do with our nosegay is we're going to wrap the stem with some ribbon. So this is our um, organza ribbon that we have on our website. It's a sheer ribbon, and it is not wired. It does have a filament, so it ties a pretty bow, but it's just a sheer ribbon. And I'm gonna take it, and I am going to cut just a long strip. And I'm going to take my ribbon, and we're just going to kind of wrap these stems. Now, in the photographs, they wrap them all the way down, but in my personal opinion, I think it really should just be wrapped some so that the stems, hey Osa, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, thank you. I'm just taking it and wrapping it right around these stems. Um, and I don't want to wrap all the way down because I want it to go right in water so that they'll last. And then I'm just gonna take that ribbon. And you can leave just the streamers hanging or you can tie a, a little bow. Um, Valerie McDonald asks, is there any kind of spray that can pre preserve the leaves when drying? They are beautiful. Um, now, we did, I remember um, several years ago, we took, there's just a pretty little bow, just very simple, very pretty. Um, we took the leaves of the magnolia and we filled, and it's a little pricey because you have to buy a good bit, but we took, there is a, um, a floor wax that you can buy called Mop and Glow. Um, you can get the no-name brand, but we put that in kind of a long plastic container that you can um, package things up and store stuff with. And then we dipped that magnolia in that Mop and Glow. It does help to hold the color. You could probably use glycerin. Now, I have never used glycerin before, but I did see on TikTok, um, one of the flower shops that follows us used glycerin and dipped her leaves, just different pretty fall leaves, in glycerin. So that might work. I've never done it, but we might have to try that. Uh, Miss Lenny says, oh no, who is going to help you during Valentine's? Robbie is... <laughs> um, I think she's going to... Valentine's Day is, what, three and a half weeks away. I think she's going to be okay. She does have her fingers and her... It's just this thumb hurt. She, she um, fractured it right down below that thumb. And so it's going to be a few weeks before she's got, um, she's able to do it, but I think she can do it. Um, she, she'll just do what she has to. <laughs> but we can figure it out. We'll be fine. We'll um, be fine. The Lyrical Lily says it was, it was her. Yes, I follow you, friend, over on the TikTok. I'm so excited. And you do beautiful work, and I'm so excited to watch you. But tell us about um, using the glycerin. Does that work? Do you think that would work with the magnolia leaves? But there is our finished nose get, guys. Um, Loretta, Loretta Pyle says, in the 80s, we, met, we made hundreds of those for prom and homecoming like this. Like, lots of work, but fun. Have fun, girls. But they are beautiful, aren't they? Isn't that so fun and pretty? And how long-lasting? I, I think I'm going to cut it and take it home and see how long it's going to last for us. Um, now, the magnolia leaves, again, they will get crispy, but I think they will be pretty even when they get dark. 
And Lenise Carter asks if you'll sell the nosegay. I'm probably not. I think I'm going to take it home. <laughs> Enjoy it at home. I love longer lasting flowers, so that's probably what I'll do. I'll take it home and see how long it'll last. Um, I know there's more questions. There's, they're sending lots of prayers for Robbie. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, oh, Saska Atkinson says, I am enjoy enjoying seeing you make something different, enjoying the live today care everyone Yay. and keep well thank you saska thank you um joanne brooks says good evening mommy it's negative three here and 22 26 in the uk i love your videos i'm just recovering from breast cancer had a full mastectomy five weeks ago well we will certainly keep you in our prayers friends we certainly will and stay safe in this cold cold weather i can't imagine it being that cold um joey hutchins i don't know if i read this already um Joey says, that would be a more inexpensive bridal bouquet that looks really cute if someone doesn't have a large budget. It turned out very nice. Thanks for always teaching. Most designers don't want to share their tips. <laughs> I am so, I'm so thankful to share them. I mean, I don't know why we pretend like everything is a secret. It should not be a secret. We should share and we should help each other. And that's what I love about this. And I love the fact that we've got so many flower shops here and friends and everybody add their tips and I think that's wonderful and thank y'all for if there's times when I get something wrong thank you for correcting me I need help <laughs> and I'm so thankful to learn so I I feel blessed to have you guys um the lyrical lily says it just might I saw where someone mod podged the leaves basically watery glue right I wonder if that'll work um but I know that when we did it in like the mop and glow it was the um floor shine um, it did, I think, to me, I felt like it lasted a little longer. Now, there, it's not going to um, completely preserve them, but it will kind of keep their color for a little bit while, a little bit longer. But honestly, I don't mind them dry. I don't mind it at all. And you can paint it. You can even paint these magnolia leaves for them to last longer, too. Um, on YouTube, Malcolm Harrison says, Good morning from Canberra, Australia. Absolutely enjoy your fl floral tutorial every time. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Um, Michelle asks, How's the Valentine's Amaryllis growing? Um, I'll take a picture. I've got, it's funny, I planted them all three at the very same, at the same time, and one is really, really tall, and then the other two are kind of staggered down. I'll take a picture there on my dining room table. Now, of course, they're not anywhere close to blooming, but they are growing, so I'll take pictures for you. Yep, they love the bouquet. Guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you for being here. If you would do me a great big favor over here on um, YouTube, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. We would appreciate that so very much. Guys, here on Facebook, give us a thumbs up or a heart if you enjoyed the video. And if you would do me a great big favor and sprinkle this video, we would appreciate it so much. I'm going to take a picture and I will post it on Facebook but I will take a picture of both the book and the nosegay so you can see that together. If you have any questions on both platforms, we are so happy to answer any questions that you might have. You know we are happy to answer those questions. We don't have secrets. <laughs> We're glad to share if we can. I did want to say thank you, Tori, for giving me a call today. Tori is one of our followers from Texas, and she had some flower shop questions, and she gave me a call. We had such a nice visit today. So anytime you have any questions or comments or any of the things you can post them here um, underneath this video you can send me a personal message you can call me at the flower shop guys you have a wonderful day I will be back live first thing in the morning at 8 o'clock to do our devotion and then we will do a floral video in the afternoon here on Facebook if you have not already started um, subscribe to our channel over on YouTube, please do that. Owen is going to, I believe, is he going to post a video today? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if mm -hmm. Owen's posting a video today. today. Or tomorrow. Did you post a um, reel over on? Um, I posted a TikTok. I haven't been able to post on the other. If you have not followed us on TikTok, we would love to have you there. Victoria has been working on some reels and some videos, so we would love for you to check us out over there. Guys, y'all have a wonderful evening. We'll see you.